Zachary Hong from Chapel Hill, North Carolina. Lucy Chow from Tallahassee, Florida. Alden D'Souza from Anaheim, California. Once, once I put it on, it was, I think this transformative concept of like, oh, I'm here to become a physician. This is what we're starting. It's really starting now. I can go into the hospital. I can shadow people. Emily Ann Johnson from Gross Point Park, Michigan. I think there is a kind of a different feeling that comes with the white coat. I don't even know that I was expecting that. You know, it's a piece of clothing, but it really, I've never had a piece of clothing really mean so much. And I think that the oath building process actually helped me feel that change. We were thinking about uh, using the word uh, devote instead of dedicate. I will devote myself to a lifetime. It helped me just realize my obligation to the people I care for, um, both within the walls of the hospital and outside of the hospital. I think if we flip that, it would be a lot stronger in that I will endeavor to build trust and value the trust that they place. We talked about uh, you know, every different part of what it means to be a doctor, whether it be caring for your patients, whether it be how you approach the profession yourself, and also how you interact with the rest of the healthcare team and the changing healthcare world. I pledge that I will devote myself to a lifetime of learning, teaching, and advancing the art and science of medicine. For me, it's uh, it's a responsibility. Uh, you know, getting this coat. It's. It's almost, a, it's a privilege, you know, and uh, I want to make sure that I live up to it, that I can show that I have what it takes to be a successful doctor, to be my best over the next four years and beyond. This is